Alright, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Alright, y'all see what's going on here. As y'all see the thumbnail, y'all read the title under the thumbnail. Yeah, this one right here is still dealing with the untimely demise of Chicago Jeweler Duke. And how his family, Stax and Mando G, flies out to H-Town to really see hands-on what's going down with Duke's case. You understand? Now, they got word that somebody been riding around H-Town with Duke's jewelry. You feel me? So again, they want to know who is it and where they come from. You feel me? And yes, they do want to check to see if there was any guys from Chicago that was involved in Duke's untimely demise. So again, yes, at the same time, while everybody is going off the storyline that Boosie created when he stated that Duke jury was still on him when he was sent up, I'm here to let y'all know that Stax and Mando G says that's a false accusation. That's not true at all. They said that Duke only had two pieces of jewelry on him. You understand? A bracelet and a chain. Basically, the bulky jewelry they did get away with. Not only the bulky jewelry that Duke had on him that night of the concert, but also the majority of the jewelry that was in Duke's Louis Vuitton bag when he arrived in H-Town. So again, at the same time, while people keep going on this back and forth saying that what Boosie said, I'm sorry to let y'all know, man, Boosie was not there. Yes, he got word from his PR team pertaining to Duke's jewelry, but again, I'm here to let y'all know that that's not true. His family is saying the opposite. When his family, see, Duke's family know what he went out to H-Town with. They know the jewelry he had on and the jewelry that he had to get from inventory to take to H-Town to show their different business partners. Like I informed you guys before, Duke was not only in H-Town pretending to a concert or to hang around rappers. He was actually out there for a business meeting pertaining to the jewelry industry. So again, he had to show his business partners the jewelry he had customized. He had just recently customized in the grade of diamonds he was using. So this is deeper than what a lot of people is expecting it to be. So that's why Stax and Mando G, they took it upon themselves to fly out to H-Town. Because again, they got word from a middle party. Somebody who was actually at the dice game. Somebody who actually knows J. Prince Jr. entourage and Boosie entourage as well. They know, this person knows the people who was at the dice game. So basically... This person that they flying out to H-Town to go visit and see what really happened based around Duke and Tommy Demise. He's a so-called associate of both J. Prince Jr. and Boosie. And he going to tell it all to Duke's family. But before we get into it, as always, let's first pay our respects and say rest in peace to Duke the Jeweler. Condolences to his family and much love to all my folks in Chicago. Now check this out, man. I know a lot of people don't agree the route that Charleston White is going right now, I'm going to let y'all know why I brought him up. See, if y'all been paying attention to the things that Charleston White been saying to social media, he had been going at Boosie for a minute. And even Charleston White brought up the fact that a guy from Chicago that was a jeweler was sent up hanging around rappers. So that's the reason why Charleston White went on a rant and saying that, hey man, if you got money and hanging around rappers, that's the wrong way to go. If you don't have money and hanging around rappers, that's still the wrong way to go. Because Charleston White is even saying that Duke would still be here if he didn't hang around rappers, especially Boosie. Charleston White says that's why he want to go about 10 rounds with Boosie in the ring to see if he really about that life with those hands. Because even Charleston White is agreeing with the fact that Duke the jeweler was not a street guy. He was a real businessman. So Charleston White is even saying what I've been stating from the beginning. We, when are we going to protect the people that's actually doing the best for us that's actually benefiting our community why is it that we don't touch the guys that constantly want to do extracurricular activity just for attention you understand and yes charleston white is one of those guys he, he'll do a lot of extracurricular activity especially on social media for attention a lot of what he says is true especially dealing with this boosie and duke the jeweler untimely demise because charleston white is not just going off Duke being sent up and Duke not being in the streets, him being the jeweler. Charleston White is also going off Mo3, an artist that's out of Louisiana that got sent up a couple years back being associated with Boosie. So Charleston White is saying everywhere that Boosie go 
if somebody hang around them, something going to happen. I'm not here to agree with 100 percent of that, but a majority of that is true. And we have to be real, no matter if we like a person or not, especially when it involves somebody that went in the streets like Duke. So I told y'all before, man, Duke family, they want answers. Duke business partners, they want answers. They want answers as well. Because like I said, man, they were trying to understand what happened to Duke. Now, with that being said, with Stax and Mando G taking a trip out to H-Town, again, because they got word that it's a person that was there that's associated to both Boosie and J. Prince Jr. that's going to let them know everything. And at the same time, they do want to know who has the jury. They do want to know who's riding around with the jury because they understand that if they could get the person that got Duke's jury, they can now get closer to the person who sent Duke up. You understand? Because we do know. Now, this is the thing, right? And this is something that Stax and Mando G is referring to when he's saying that, hey, man, it seemed like those guys from J. Prince Jr. camp and Boosie camp, they don't want to speak. They don't want to say nothing to us. And it's making it seem as if they had something to do with it. Now, we know, you know what I'm saying, they some street guys, but again, Duke won a street guy, and y'all not talking to the laws. Like, the family want to know before the laws what happened to Duke, you understand? They're stating that Boosie and J. Prince Jr. entourage, they feel like they hiding something. They feel like they hiding something, they either protecting J. Prince or Boosie. But at the same time, they do understand they not getting the whole story. That things, they getting, pits, they getting bits and pieces here and there. And they can only get that if they keep pressing the issue. And that's one of the reasons, again, why they had to fly out to H-Town. Yes, I told y'all before. I told y'all before they talked to Duke's girlfriend. And again, she notified them that she didn't make it to the concert. She wasn't there. She was advised not to go. Now, still, a lot of people want to know why did she not go to the concert with Duke? And why did the other person who flew out there with Duke and his girlfriend, what happened to him? And this is something that Stax and Mando G they flying out to H-Town to see as well. They trying to see when Duke flew out to H-Town and started showing guys the jewelry pieces. Was that was that the time then where a lot of guys felt like, man, he a goofy. I'm about to get all his jewelry and his bag of money. Especially when they seeing that Duke did not come out there with a team of guys. And yes, like I stated before, man, Mando G and Stax, they going to check to see what Chicago dudes was at the dice game. They going to see, man. They're going to get names, numbers, you know what I'm saying? Whoever, whatever uh, street organization they associated with, they're going to get it all, man. And trust me, they're going to pull up. And not only them, like I said, man, when you have somebody like Duke, when he's a business partner, that means that he has guys that's willing to make a move for him. They just want to know, they just want to get sent the address, and that's real talk. Mando G, Stax, and the rest of Duke family, they feel like they've been playing it cool. They feel like they've been patient pertaining to Duke being sent up, but they're not getting what they want. So that's why at the same time, they're going to move on their, they gonna move on their own accord. You know what I'm saying? They're going to get some questions answered whether somebody like it or not, and that's real talk. Because, again, y'all have to understand the degree of discontent that these people feel towards whoever got something to do with their family, Duke, being sent up, man, and that's real. Hey, but y'all pay attention, we got more in store. But as always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.